Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer requested question, it is from Twitter. I can't remember who it was on Twitter, I just remember it was on the Twitter. Not sure the correct way to post a challenge, but, and then a link. Said link is, ba ba ba, the war zone. Watch a SU-25 attack jet blast a TU-16 bomber out of the sky with an anti-tank missile. Well, this is an interesting one. Russia's Zevza military channel on YouTube posted a teaser video for an upcoming special on the Sukhoi SU-25 Frogfoot Crosshair support. In the clip, it's showing a Frogfoot weapon system, uh, Vickers missile, uh, which is an anti-tank weapon or anti-armor weapon, engaging a TU-16 Badger bomber with one of its Vicar anti-armor missiles. These weapons are usually used to kill tanks and take out other ground vehicles, not for taking down strategic bombers, which makes this video especially fascinating and remarkably spectacular. Дальше надо было понять, можно ли применяемый на самолете противотанковый сверхзвуковой управляемый ракетой Вихрь сбить самолет. Для этого суховцы взяли бомбардировщик. Look at that, it's, it's, you see, it's the big... Wow, it's real. And look how much destruction it did. I thought it had a tiny little warhead on it. That is really weird. Now, the Vicar is... Oh, I always get this the wrong way around. I think it's a beam riding missile. So what it does is it spins around a laser beam. That's how it guides. So the laser beam set on the aircraft, basically set where that box is, and it spins around that laser beam, and then it's got a... Um, a fuse, obviously, that's set off. Let's go and have a watch that again, because that is Дальше so crazy. Надо было понять, можно ли применяемый на самолете противотанковый сверхзвуковой управляемый ракетой Вихрь сбить самолет. So you can see it spinning Для around a laser beam. Суховцы взяли бомбардировщик, отправили его в небо в режиме Boom. автопилота. Boom! How thumping big the warhead was. I'm guessing it was a relatively small warhead that must have set the fuel off in the bit, in the uh, Badger or something. Пустили ракету. Look at the destruction of it. Yeah, I took it out. You know what? I never thought that would have worked. It's a tiny missile. It's the size of a small caliber rocket, isn't it? Well, maybe that's not true, but it is small. I guess it's got a big warhead on it. Very interesting. Yeah, didn't know this was uh, possible in DTS. Still don't know. So let's go and uh, try it out, I suppose. Okay, welcome back. We've got modern variants of the SU-25, myself and RC there. You can see we've got 16 number Vickers beam riding missiles. You can see the sensors that allow the uh, beam riding. And we've got over there, we don't have a Badger, but we have a TU-22 backfire, which is near enough. Unpause, so let's try and remember how to fly this little gizmo. So, air to ground, electro-optical on, uh, laser range finder not on yet. Uh, we're going to configure our Schwal weapons gate size. Hello, RC. These cool skins look. I'm going to move it over to the hostile, try locking. Hey, it worked. Right. One small problem is that RC's in my way now. Um, next, I'm going to turn my laser rangefinder on. Laser rangefinder on. Let me know when you're ready to fire, RC. I'm pretty much ready to fire. I am ready to fire. Let me get my override get on. My bracket here. Caps overrides on. I'm ready. I'm just waiting for you now. Uh. Yeah. Uh, what's the override? I don't have that. Oh, well, if you don't have it set up, you don't have it now. But if you've got LA. That's right. Go ahead. Three, two, no, but... one, cap rifle. No, it's not a real rifle, but near enough. See it spinning around. Oh, just like it was in the video. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we didn't know until we did this, we didn't know this existed in DTS. So it's great that we can get a Skrull. You know, you're not going to lock it onto a fast moving fighter, but something like this, it's perfectly accessible. And we can shoot down basically 16 um, bombers with these little babies now. Which is pretty sick because it only otherwise only carries generally uh, a couple of Sidewinder or Russian variants. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.